Hey everybody, Sister Fantastic here. Today is a collab day. It is called the Spring Fling Collab. And so we've been challenged to use uh, four colors. You could do a combination of two, three, or four out of the four colors. And we had green, yellow, pink, and purple. And so I decided to go with the pink and the green and the yellow and so there's going to be a giveaway and there's lots of ladies to see and many of them are doing giveaways as well so you have to hop around and see you know who all's doing what anyway the ladies that are in my group um, are all uh, listed down below and uh, there's a playlist for for each one of us for each group I mean there's three groups and there's a play three playlists and the group that I'm in uh, you'll be required to subscribe and uh, um, participate in you know um, in my giveaway by subscribing to everyone that's in my group and then of course we'll be talking more about that later on in the video about what's required from you as far as a secret word is concerned so anyway if you're interested in all of those things and how I got this look stay tuned I'll be right back <music> Alright, for today I'm meeting the challenge by using uh, three of the four shades that were presented to us. I'm going to use the yellow and the green and the pink. And so I've got two palettes here from Nomad Cosmetics. This is the uh, Mar Marrakesh from Nomad. And these are all uh, pretty much all mattes. There's a couple of satins in here. But anyway, I'm going to go in with this yellow. And then I'm going to play with this green right here. And then I'm going to use this pink right here. And then I've got this little uh, Studio uh, 54, which is a little shimmer quad. And I thought it would be fun to use the yellow and the green and the pink here to top everything off. And so I'm just kind of going for uh, a really um, like a trio type type look today so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in first of all with a big fluffy brush and I'm going to go straight into that green and I'm going to put that in the crease I'm just gonna I've already got primer on my lids and I'm wearing a green blouse today and this is the shade that's gonna kind of pretty much be predominant in this look so I just want to start out light and build up and I love this shade of green it's so pretty it's like a bluish green And it looks more green in the palette than it does blue, but when you, um, you know, shear it out on the lids, you know, it looks really, you can see the blue in it better. So anyway, it is a green though. And so I'm not cheating. I'm just, you know, using a shade of green that's going to go well with my complexion. So anyway, I'm just using a big fluffy brush here, and we're just getting this all over the lid. I mean, the you know the whole crease area. So a little bit more right here in the center. Okay, and I'm probably going to come back to that color in a few minutes, but for right now. Let's see, I need to find a fluffy brush here. Let me use this small one here from Alamar Cosmetics. And let me, let's see. 
Hmm. I'm thinking maybe I should use this fluffier brush from LMR Cosmetics. And I'm going to go straight into that pink. It's called the Souks. And I'm just going to put that on the lid. Just real lightly. And the whole idea behind this collab is you know spring fling so we're thinking spring colors we're thinking pastels we're thinking you know on the lighter side of things and so the pigment is here in this palette but I really don't want to play on the pigment as much as I do you know the sh the tone of the shadows so I'm going to stick pretty much through the lid here. And this is this is a shadow that has a bit of a satin finish. Ugh, I didn't mean to cover up my eyes. I was doing that. I hope I didn't do that. Okay, so that's the start. Now I'm going to go into this yellow. It's called Argon Fruit. And it's like a lemon yellow. It's really pretty. And I normally try to steer away from yellows. But I wanted to do some yellow in this look. So I'm going to put this in the corner. I'm just going to pop this right here. for that little pop of color. This reminds me of daffodils, this shade of yellow. And I really don't want it to layer on top of the other colors. I just want it to kind of add, you know, that little pop of brightness. Just like that okay so I may come back to that green here in a minute but for right now I want to go into this palette right here I think this is super pretty love it love it love it love it and I'm gonna go into this pink it's called I'm coming out and it's got a, a flip to it it's got like a purplish type flip and it's going to transform this pink into a, a more of a more of a pinky shade so anyway more of a holographic pinky shade and bring some shimmer some shimmer shimmer So I'm just putting that all on top of that pink shade that I laid on the lid. And I'm not really getting the payoff that I want. So let me just use my finger. There, that's a little bit better. These are like topper shimmers is what they are. I'm not sure I'd use them by themselves. They are beautiful, and uh, I'm so excited to have them. Especially this one right here is such a pretty um, duo chrome. And if you look close, you can see that bluish purple shift. Okay, so we've got that. Now for under the brow bone, I want to go in with um, the yellow one. It's called Le Freak. And I'm just going to use that same brush that I used with the yellow. 
and I'm just gonna just lightly dust that underneath the brow bone just to give a little shimmer there and to highlight underneath the brow. And I really am trying to stay in the pastel realm today. It's so easy for me to go ham on a green shade, but I'm going to try my best not to do that. And this yellow has some pink in it. Just a little right there. Just to kind of transform that into it's almost like a satin. Okay, now. I'm going to find me another brush, a denser brush from the same Alamar collection, and I'm going to go into this green shimmer. It's called Got To Be Real. And I'm just going to lay that right on top of all those greens. Well, that one green. Now it's going to be two greens. And this is really super pretty, I think. And it doesn't really emphasize texture either. Sometimes you think that these shimmers are just really, you know, make your eyelids look really crepey. You know, and emphasize all that texture, but these are nice. Especially on top of those mats. My sister Janet used to wear shades of green like this all the time. And she'd put pink on her lid. So this look right here is inspired by her. And of course the shadows themselves. Okay. So that's good. So now I just need a... Let's see here. I need a... Just like a... A brush that's going to help me get some color on the bottom. Let me use, let me use this one here from Complex Culture. I like these little brushes, y'all. It's called an Easy Crease Definer. And I'm just going to go back into that green, just right there on the tip of the brush. Because the brush is tapered and it comes to a point. So I'm just going to, just kind of hug the lash line there. to where that yellow is in the corner. And then just kind of wing it out a little bit. Just like that. So I'm just trying to stay really super clean with the look. I really don't want to get messy with it. I want to be precise in where I place the colors and I don't want them to uh, really blend into one another. I don't want to muddy up the look. 
so I just wanted to lay the colors down and just let them shine where I placed them. Just like that. Just a really pretty pastel spring look. Spring fling. So I'm doing it with Nomad. Love this palette, y'all. Look at all those colors. Look at all those beautiful neutrals. And then you've got that pop of green and a pop of orange. There's that blue up there in the corner. There's a red, that yellow, that yummy yellow that I just used. Awesome. Okay, so I'm going to pop off camera. I'm going to put on some mascara and I'll be back and I'll do a lip look with you guys. All right, y'all, I'm back and I'm ready to do a lip look. So I'm going to go in with this uh, Steve Laurent lip liner. It's in the shade Vogue and it's kind of like a pinky rose color. And I wanted to do somewhat of a like a pink type lip today. Or rose, you know. To kind of play on the pink a little bit more. And the Cupid's bow. Fill in these corners just a little bit. I love these lip liners. They have such good stay in power. And they keep the lipstick from bleeding. And they're nice and long, too. So I got it on the BoxyCharm website. Alright, so this is a MAC lipstick. And this is in this uh, shade uh, D99, which is called Sea Sheer. It's one of their luster lipsticks. Beautiful, creamy, rose color. Just gorgeous. Look at that. Just pulls the whole look together. Alright, y'all. That is my look for today. I just want to thank Miss Teresa for hosting this collab. All the other ladies. Everyone's going to be linked down below. Make sure and visit all the ladies in my group. If you want to enter my giveaway, my giveaway today is going to consist of a mystery bag. <laughs> so anyway, I always curate, you know, boxes or a bag of things which would be like the equivalent to a subscription box so you know um, you can just use your imagination and anyway when the drawing comes around you know I will reveal the products and so for today those of you that want to enter this giveaway I want you to use the word rose down in the comments in a sentence, uh, y'all know the drill, 18 years or older, continental U.S., you must be publicly subscribed to me and the ladies that are in my group, and, uh, you know, YouTube's not responsible, I'm not liable for any damages or any mishaps of any kind, and that's pretty much it. 
So anyway, the winner will have 48 hours to contact me and the drawing will be held in a separate video. So that's pretty much it, y'all. I hope you like my look. I think it's pretty, you know, subtle. Uh, the lashes are bold, but you know, it, the look itself is, is pretty subtle. So anyway, I think it screams spring. So I love y'all. Thank you so much for watching and participating in the collab and supporting all of the ladies. I love you all very much. Thank you so much. And God bless you today is my prayer. I'll see you next time. Bye.